a little bit more detailed but let me put that right there we're going to do his skin tight at the bottom yeah we're going to keep it low too because i ain't never put i ain't never done skin tight on the head before you know what i'm saying yeah, I'm trying to uh, trying to get a little bit of promotion out towards my shots. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Vern? It's very important. Nobody knows what you do. Exactly. You got to take it and you got to pull up and you got to dig your clippers into it. Don't just go like this. You got to dig your clippers into it and go out with it and keep your clippers on their neck. Hold up, I'll do a closer up. Matter of fact, the next one, we, we did the bottom one skin tight. You don't have to do it skin tight, but I'm going to show you what an OA looks like. The next, next blade. Yeah, I'm What's starting to see snowflakes up here. Yeah, buddy. Oh, hey. Hey Gary, can you come here and hold this video on uh hold the video? Yeah, I got a video recording. This is the next plate, oh way. We're gonna keep this low too. Yeah, got a, I'm I'm a, uh I'm a movie star now, you know. Alright, to get in on this, you gotta pull their skin up. And first, you wanna see what you're doing to cut all that hair out the way. And see, if you just go over it, like this, if you just go over it, I'm going to show you the difference. They're just going over it. Even kind of digging in doesn't do the trick. But look, this is just going over it regular. Okay, that's what that looks like. And I'm even going to go up to the next blade. This is number one. We're doing a skin tight fade on him, keeping it low. And on the fade, you always want to get this looking sharp too. Thank you, Gary. You didn't know you were getting put to work today, did you? I didn't know you were making a video. I wouldn't have came in. I kept my mouth shut. <laughs> You're fine, dude. Adds, uh, adds personality to the video, you know what I'm saying? I guess. And then we're going to get Professor to talk a crazy story after after I'm done teaching these dudes how to cut hair. Alright. See that? That's uh, that's me just going over it. Oh, shit. Sorry about that, dude. No, you're good. Ruining the whole video now. Oh, no. That's no bueno. So this is just going over it. But see, now I'm going to go back to my OA and I'm going to pull that skin up. And I'm going to dig down in there. See the difference? You're going to have to see the difference. And you gotta blend it in too. There you go, look at that. And we'll come back with that number one again. Just to make sure everything's nice and blended. Then one A. Watch your uh help. Yeah, we're almost done, Gary, and then we're good. Matter of fact, you, you can uh, put it down if you want. Make you feel like recording it still. Do you hear me, Gary? Yeah. <laughs> you want to put it down there? Yeah, I keep going. Oh, okay. Cool. Piece of this thing gets an Academy Award. I want part of it. Cinematology. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> there you go. Photography goes to Gary. The Muslim. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> From New Jersey. Right. A Muslim from New Jersey. I took it in to kill my damn clippers. Oh, yeah, man. I, a, I, I hope you didn't break them. That'll really suck. Uh -uh. I got a couple of pair of wall at home I'll give you. Oh, yeah, I'm sure they'll be the exact same as my <laughs> professional grade $150 clippers. You know? Those are two of them. You multiply it by two. <laughs> 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 And see, if, for those that can't see, there's a little bit of a line <coughs> right there. What you're going to do is you're going to come back down to number one again. And see, when I'm doing it, I'm barely going into it. I'm not digging down in and pulling out like all the beauticians. I'm not doing that. You're barely going into it. And you're just letting the blade just blend itself. See that? And then you can hold these clippers any way you want to. You don't have to do this, and you don't have to do this. You can hold them by the tips if you want. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter. Whatever is comfortable to you. And you can come in at an angle, or you can go straight ahead on it. You know, it all depends on how you feel is going to get the best thing. He's getting tender loving care this time, Professor. Yeah, that's a good way for me. <laughs> so, you know what? Now I'm going back to my one and a half, and he's getting a two on top. So, that's why I took, took the book to uh, save this eye. I didn't touch it that time. That wasn't me. Maybe it was me. Boom, should I miss the last blade? Miss the number two on top. Oh, sorry about that. Sometimes you just gotta keep them awake so you stab them in the forehead with the clippers, you know. <laughs> what do you think, Professor? Did I wake you up at all? Nah, I've been awake. <laughs> <laughs> I just got off at 295. And when you're doing the top of someone's head, come from every single angle. Don't just go straight back and that's it. You know what I'm saying? You got to hit it from straight back. And see how my blade is always on his head? It's always flat on his head. It's not like this. It's not like this, it's like this. It's always following his head. See that? Every bump and every crevice. And I go over it a million times. See, I'm going over it like this. Then I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna do it like this. And then I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna switch hands on you. I'm gonna do it like this. I'm going to go down on it, up on it, left on it, right on it, all kinds of crap. Got to make sure that bad boy is done. This isn't for children, is it? Might be. Am I cussing or something? No, I was just going to make a joke. And then one last thing, mustache. On the professor's mustache, he's got quite the unique mustache. Is he so really he a professor? He's just out. on that. Yeah, he actually is a professor now. Go right. yep. figure. You want to barely get the edge of that.
And then you want to uncover them lips. So you don't want to uh, dig too much in any part of the mustache. You got to be careful with it. See how I'm blending this short part into this long part? That. I'm going to take it shorter right here. And then I'm going to take it and I'm going to pull the comb out to make it longer down here. See all this straggly stuff? I'm going to freehand every bit of it. And then you can pull the comb down, pull that hair down like that, you know. Oh, yeah. Then the eyebrows, you know, you can't forget the old man's eyebrows. You know, eyebrows is a sign of wisdom. <laughs> From what I was told by people with long eyebrows. <laughs> it's getting mighty deep. <laughs> well, that's what they told me. All the dudes with long eyebrows say, yeah, eyebrows that are long means you're smart. I said, yeah, these are real smart. I wonder what back hair means. <laughs> means you're a Neanderthal. <laughs> and nobody wants to shave it. Right. Alright. Uh, actually, I can... Same thing with this side. Once the professor stops looking at himself. I know you're beautiful, Professor, but you know, we do got, we, I got a job to do here, bud. <laughs> Don't make him laugh, you're not messing up. That's all right. I know how to cut hair with a uh, moving target. Again, we're going from short to long. And then, finally, you want to look at the, the mustache and make sure it's even on each side, which it is. So we're good to go. Then the rest is pretty much just basic stuff, and that's how to get the fat rolls out. <coughs> By Scott Lee, get them fat rolls out, see? You got to get up in there. See that? Those aren't fat rolls. Those are wisdom lines. Yeah, 